Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I manage my finances and how I track my income and expenses on a monthly basis. So first things first, I use Excel to do this and you can use whatever format you like. But I think Excel is probably one of the most easiest because it allows you to kind of automate and use formulas to track your numbers. Um, so that's what I use every month and I keep it really, really simple. And I think simplicity is the way forward. The more complicated you make it, the more difficult it will be to fill out your monthly expenses and income. So what I do personally, I have a category at the top here, which summarizes my monthly position. So I have three categories here, my monthly income at a high level, um, then my monthly expenses summarized, which I'll get into a bit more detail um, shortly after, and then my net position for the month. So first of all, I have my monthly income as my first um, table or category. Here I put all my income that I receive on a monthly basis. So you'll have salary, um, rental income, in interest income, any other side hustles, and you know, so on and so forth. And then by using a sum function, so equals sum, uh, select all of the numbers and then press enter. And that will give you a total income for the particular month. So moving on to expenses, I personally like to keep it really simple. And personally, I have three categories for my expenses. The first one being your kind of mandatory bills that you have to pay. So for example, it'd be your mortgage, home insurance, TV and broadband, gas, electric, water, and so on. And I kind of categorize that as housing bills. And similar to before, I put all the numbers in for each of the bills. And then using a sum function, I add all the expenses up, which gives me a grand total for my housing bills, which is my kind of mandatory month on month bills I have to pay. And then I have a category for subscriptions. But again, you can play around with this and you can have whatever category that fits you best. For me personally, I like to have one dedicated for subscriptions and I enter all of them within this field here or table here. And then again, similar to before, I add it all up, which gives me a grand total for my subscriptions category. And finally, I have a category for more the discretionary or non-essential type expenses. So for example, it could be my budget for petrol for the month, my phone bill, gym, going out, having fun, um, shopping, food, etc. And again, I total all these up uh, and to give me a grand total for that particular category or that particular bucket. So now that I've got my three different categories of expenses, what I like to do next is to summarize it at the top here under monthly expenses. And rather than copying and pasting each one individually, the best way to do that is by pressing equals and pressing or selecting the cell right here. What that will do is that will then automatically update whenever there's a change within your expenses. So for example, let's say my mortgage increases to 620 pound, then this will also automatically update based on that particular value that I've entered here. So then what I do is I have um, one for each category, housing, leisure and subscriptions, which then gives me a grand total for my monthly expenses um, for that particular month. Now, finally, once all that's done, once I've got a high level overview and understanding of my monthly income and monthly expenses, I have a table for my net position. So in simple terms, how much money am I left with after all my expenses and income? And that will be my net position here. So what I do is I use a formula here is by subtracting my total monthly income at a high level um, versus my total monthly expenses. That gives me a net position of 690, hypothetically. Um, and then I input also in this category on this table um, the money that I put towards my savings account. So let's say from the 690 I put 500 towards my savings account. Then at the end of the month I'm left with 190 pound in terms of cash. So hopefully that's been useful. If you'd like a copy of this template then simply comment down below and I'm more than happy uh, to share it with you guys. And as I said earlier there's no right and wrong when it comes to income tracking. You can always change these categories and make it completely personal to you. The main thing is to have some form of income tracker so you can stay on top of your finances. It doesn't have to look good, it doesn't have to be fancy. Um, just keep it as simple as possible. I think that's the way forward. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and a sub to the channel would be much appreciated. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.